Hey guys, it's Dan with The Corporate Thief Beats and in today's video I want to share with you something that's a little bit different than what I did before and this is where I want to share with you how to upload longer videos on Twitter. Now you used to be able to do this by creating ads within Twitter media but that doesn't work anymore so I've kind of figured out a little workaround. Now uh, I don't mind going on live on Twitter and stuff like that but I have an issue with my upload speed where I'm at it's not it's not that reliable and it cuts out a lot and plus I should be getting a, a longer or a better upload speed where I am but I'm not and it's just, just something that's not out of my control and it's when you're streaming live you need a good upload speed um, but what I figured out is that uh, if you use uh, Periscope you can uh, stream pre-recorded videos to Twitter that are longer than two uh, minutes and 20 seconds which is the standard upload time on Twitter anyway and uh, basically I found this little guide on Periscope uh, showing you exactly how to do it luckily enough I'm already familiar with this software called open broadcast software which is free for you guys to download uh, it works with Windows and Mac uh, so you just download that there's no cost for it and it's a great tool because I also share with you on YouTube and on my website on how to upload pre-recorded videos to both to Facebook and to Twitter to, uh, just in case you've got any kind of live shows that you've recorded and stuff they're great to stream live to your audience as well and it gives you a little bit uh, more confidence if you can edit your videos and get out the ums and ass which I'm pretty uh, <laughs> pretty bad for doing and I probably should edit my videos a little bit more but uh, we'll just continue on with the tutorial so once you've downloaded o open broadcast uh, software so it's OBS studio just install it into your computer once you've done that uh, you also need the uh, Periscope app on your phone so please download that as well and um, I'll go through this little guide and I'll share it with you Stuff I want to share with you first. Once you up open, um, once you've opened OBS, you need to create scenes. Uh, so you can see that I have a scene already created here because I'm trying to record this video at the same time as well. Um, so you just click on the plus button. It gives you um, a scene, and you can just add in uh, a video if you video capture device if you want that one to go straight live and talk to people if you just want to share um, your display capture that's the, my screen if you want to do a screencast you just go to display capture but if you wanted to add in an image which I urge you to do because you don't want to just jump straight in live when you uh, bring in your pre-recorded videos uh, it's best that you put in a little image so you can go there click image and then you can find an image in your browser and find what, whatever image you have on your browser and uh, add in an image there so you can hold the, the, the streaming uh, the live stream until you actually want to go live next you want to add in your pre-recorded video so we will just add in a media source I'm just gonna click OK and then you add in a specific video you can see that I have one there I'm not going to click in it now because it's going to interrupt the recording. One second now, I'll just see if it will. If it'll actually pop in there. Open. No, it won't pop in there. One second, I think it might come up here. Hey guys, it's Dan with the Corporate Beat Beats, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick little hack that I have already. with Twitter yeah, in how to keep it more authentic and OBS. keep it kind of like. Uh, so you can see that I've already populated that with that, and I already have an image already created in that. Um, hey guys, it's Dan with the Corporate Beat Beats, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick little hack that. So it's better to have multiple scenes so you can control the streaming uh, much more fluidly. Uh, next you have to go to settings and then you have to go to uh, output. You click advanced, you click streaming, you add in uh, 264, x264 and the rescale output needs to be uh, 960 at 440. Uh, make sure you enforce streaming encoder. Put the bitch rate at 750 and put the keyframes at 2. You have to do this because um, OBS and 
Periscope need to communicate with each other and they need to be uh, within Periscope's uh, format, basically. Also change your audio beat rate to 80 because it won't work otherwise. Next you go to stream. I'm not going to show you my stream key, but you click on stream. I'll show you here in the guide that they have. Uh, next you go to uh, stream key. Uh, you go back to your app on your phone, uh, the Periscope app. You click on Periscope producer in your settings. Once you go from settings, you go to the URL and the stream key. I, I tick low latency. That's just because my, my upload speed is not great and not reliable and it just helps me create a nice stream, a uh, fluid stream. I also add in, um, that's it, yeah that's, and sometimes it might come up here about your gestating sets, uh, um, your settings that they mightn't work so just kind of keep tweaking the, the bitch rate until it works. That's why I, I put in 750, they usually say 800 here but I put in 750 because it wouldn't work at 8, 850. Um, then you Go back to stream and OBS, click on stream. I'm not going to share my stream key with you now because you'll just kind of stream straight directly to my Twitter profile <laughs> and I don't want you guys doing that so I'm going to share with this one's here. This is a preview one and you grab the URL, you put it in there, then you put in the stream key and then you click OK. Then you go back to, once you've done that, you go back to OBS, click start streaming. And then a little green box will indicate that you're actually streaming up to um, up to Periscope and Twitter at that time. Click preview broadcast on your phone and then uh, you'll see a preview of where you have control on your screen on uh, OBS. So you can click hold it there. And then if you go to your Twitter profile, it will actually show up under view broadcasts and you can find your your live stream there and uh, also it should pop up here as well on your Twitter profile and you can see that there's a video that I did yesterday and it's about 14 minutes long and you can see that um, it's pre-recorded I streamed it right into Twitter and here's the thing I wanted to share with you as well if you just click the little um, little tree bars there at the lower tweet It'll give you the video link from um, from Periscope where you can continue to populate this video within Twitter to continue to promote it and you just tweet that video over and over again and get people to share it and like and subscribe etc. And this is great if you are trying to promote like uh, interviews or if you played a great gig or if you took a great take in a studio or something like that. Stream this stuff live. It doesn't matter that it's not actually live. I don't think it, it matters. It, it All it matters is, is it engaging content? Is it something that people want to watch? Um, um, plus, I just think it's with all the kind of thing that's going on about IGTV at the moment, you're being a little bit different by using Twitter and Periscope and kind of not going where the crowd is, learning to stand out, not doing bullshit fucking marketing, uh, doing something different is pretty cool. And I hope that you guys use this information. Don't worry, I'll send you this link to show you and um, where you can find this because this is important stuff. If you don't set it up right, it won't go live. Um, also, like I said, OBS is free, you can download that. If you like information like this, don't forget to share the video, like, share, and subscribe. But also, uh, check out our Twitter Music Marketing Machines course, okay? Um, one second, I'll just get a video. And uh, there's a little video here of where I explain everything that's in the Twitter Music Marketing Machines course. And I just um, put together like 30 videos I have some of my best tips on how to promote your music on Twitter and it's not in generic marketing as well there's a lot of good stuff in there how to build a following how to claim your following how to find followers how to use the advanced search how to use Twitter media to regurgitate your uh, um, your former uh, tweets and stuff like that there's loads of things in there that will help you it's all about creating automation systems as well so you're not stuck within Twitter as well which is why I created this course and uh, step by step it's over the shoulders really good stuff in there and I hope you guys come and check it out if you think someone will benefit from a course like this don't hesitate to send it them 
If you didn't understand anything in this particular video, hit me up in the comment section. I'll do my best to explain it to you and see how I can help you and maybe pitch you some ideas that, uh, that you could do in your music marketing uh, using this method. And it's all free guys and I uh, hope you guys use it to your advantage. This is Dan with the Corporate Thief Beats and I'll check you out in the next video. Take care.